Hi guys, how are you today? So today, I will be finally going back onto an EP review from the boys. Um, and, and it's gonna be dark and wild. But, disclaimer, because of obviously copyright issues and, you know, copyright issues, <laughs> this video will be uh, cut in uh, multiple uh, reactions because obviously I cannot react to more like I think than three songs or three or four songs I don't know I don't remember but anyway and also because the the album is pretty long so you know I cannot do uh, the whole thing uh, in once uh, at once anyway anyway <laughs> anyway uh, let me just record my screen also oh, I was gonna say I will be doing the intro today, which is what am I to you? Obviously, Danger, I will not react to this song because I did this one a long time ago, like a year ago. <laughs> it's gonna pop up somewhere. I mean, the card thing is gonna be show. It, it, I watched it again uh, before, uh, you know, because I wasn't sure if I, I reacted to that one as well uh, already or not. And. Yeah, it was a year ago and it was, you know, me in my beginning of my, you know, K-pop journey and, and, and yeah, I could not watch more than like two seconds of it, so <laughs> it's fine. If you want to watch it, then watch it, but you know, you don't have to, <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> anyway, so I will not be do doing Danger, and then I will be doing uh, War of Hormones. So, Actually, with this one, I will be reacting to the video uh, MV because there is one. So obviously, I've seen like clips here and there with like uh, the rise of Bangtan, but but obviously, I want to see the whole thing. Uh, and I will also do hip hop file, fill file. I don't know how to say that word. I mean, uh, I don't even know what the, does it doesn't mean. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I will be doing these three songs today and the rest uh, in another video. Anyway, let me record my screen. I talk too much, I know guys, I know. But that's my thing, so you know, it's, you should be used to it by now, actually. <laughs> um, so, recording my screen. Oh wait, there's a video for the tree, like I mean the intro, should I watch that? Ah, interesting. Maybe I should then. <laughs> All right. Uh, so apparently there's a video for the the intro, so I will be doing that. Why not? You know, it's it's here to be seen. So, right. Well, let's go. That's so long. I'm not 
패서 있으니까 understand 너무 빠져도 빠지고 있는 난 아무것도 할 수가 없어 어느새 습관이 돼버린 척소 넌 똑똑지도 나쁘지도 않다고 해 내가 앞서가리 아닌 건 아닌 건데 내 작은 일 작사랑 난 팔에 막 하는 막사랑 꿈 잡아도 이건 꼭 상대 없는 줄다리기가 따라와 주세 Oh baby don't you play 네가 불길이라도 꿈꾸시거릴게 그럼 니가 제발 모르는 사람 Sounded really like, like, like you know, passion, passionate love, <laughs> like a, a, towards the end, especially um, when it like started like going pretty hard, I guess. And if I'm not mistaken, like that's only RM uh, rapping, right? Like you guys tell me, but I think like that's only him. Like I, I mean, his voice is particular, and so I think it is only RM. I love the intro. It's it's well, it's nice. Obviously, there was no subtitle, so I will be uh, reading about what what it said because you know I don't know what it said. <laughs> Come here, I'm about to take you higher. Yeah, it sounds like a, a relationship gone wrong. I mean, maybe not gone wrong, but gone, you know. Where there's no love anymore <laughs> towards the end, you know, ah, and that's when I guess it started becoming a bit hard in like you know the flow and like the the beat, ah, uh, and you know he was like saying like what am I to you, girl, you know, so so yeah that the the first impression when I said like passionate love it could be you know a wrong passionate love and a good passionate love <laughs> kind of you know. Um, so yeah, okay. So I, 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 I guess, yeah, that's a, uh, you know, like how we see things like from the start, like being like, all right, this is the, this is the atmo atmosphere we want to, you know, uh, give to this like album, <laughs> being like, all right, it's gonna be about love, but you know, maybe not the happy one. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I mean it's it's called dark and wild, so I guess you know it's <laughs> makes sense. Anyway, I will be now going into uh, the the uh, war of hormone uh, MV. So let me do that. But I do like the intro, but. I feel like, yeah, there was only uh, RM, like, rapping. But that's why. Alright, it's recording here. Uh, as usual, I will not do the lyrics now and just concentrate on the video first. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot it was their bad boy era. <laughs> Let's go. 
his back. Moments like never like never last. <laughs> I liked it actually to be I think I like it even more than um, danger I like danger already but I think I like this one actually better it, I don't know what it is but I just I just liked it <laughs> that's it <laughs> Anyway, let me watch it again uh, with the lyrics on so I can like, you know, understand and everything Because it's important <laughs> Like uh, MV where there's like no colors except like some of like their clothes, you know, the red, uh, which reminds me of the cover of the album, which is black and red. So, you know, it's a nice, you know, uh, loop. Like this. On the beat. <laughs> Controversial like album or MV. I don't know which one uh, uh, But yeah, I remember now, you know like watching um, Again, I know that you know, it's like every boy uh, I mean every no every everyone not not every boy everyone, you know passes through that phase where you like You're a teenager. You're like uh, almost an adult and you know you hormones war of hormones It, it says in the title, you know so you have to say like those type of things, even though it's not my type of you know lyrics that I'm like fond of. You know I understand it, I guess, but you know it's still not my favorite uh, BTS song in terms of lyrics. <laughs> but in terms of music, I did like it. <laughs> Girl. You are my baby. Makes me, you know, think about just like the representation of like women is just like 
they're objectified, which I know again, I've been a teenager as well, but you know, it's just like the way of saying things. Uh, and I know that's their whole concept here, and they're all, you know, uh, they were young still. And and I understand it. It's just like, like I said, it's not my favorite in terms of, of, of lyrics, even though I do understand where they're coming from, obviously. <laughs> but yeah, uh, you know, it's what it is. I feel like the uh, the wheels are not turning. <laughs> vocals in the background with nice so <laughs> That's so funny. Um, but yeah, like the thing that I don't get. Um, well, who is doing that? The like someone. Oh, that's Jungkook. Like he's doing like some moves. Like like is that like martial arts move? Well, it's Jungkook. He can do anything. So probably. <laughs> Um, what I don't get about this contro controversy is that why BTS, you know, uh, was like attacked on this, even though they're not the first one who, who has like who done who has done this like type of songs, you know, and type of lyrics, and they're obviously not gonna be the last either. <laughs> um, but I guess yeah, because I mean it was 2014, so they were still. A rookie, I mean, still, kind of, you know, uh, still new band, 
and people were like like not understanding how they they like they had so much success uh, and everything so they wanted to like to put them down and criticize like that song and I guess yeah I mean I guess that's a reason because haters gonna hate <laughs> obviously <laughs> uh, I just like answered my, my 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 question but yeah I mean again it's in terms of lyrics it's not my favorite I like the song though uh, in terms of music and uh, obviously like I said they're not the first one to have done that and there will not be the last one so you know it's it's you know it is what it is <laughs> anyway uh, let me then go on to hip hop file which I will be uh, reading the lyrics at the same time But yeah, like I said, I forgot that it was their bad boy uh, era, era. <laughs> and, and I like their outfits. <laughs> uh, anyway, so let's go on to hip hop, hip hop file. I'm 
I guess I can do one more. I like so like this one. I feel like it's kind of like a a declaration of love, <laughs> uh, but towards the hip hop uh, genre. Uh, because obviously, uh, like when I was like reading their lyrics at the same time, it's mostly you know the rap line rapping and only. In the chorus, you have like uh, the the uh, vocal line uh, coming in, but yeah, like I said, it, it's a declaration of love in the sense that like they each like each of the rap uh, rappers like RM, uh, J Hope, and, and Suga uh, told their story about like why they love hip hop so much, why they came to love it so much, and in in why they they want to continue, you know. So in that sense, for me, it is like a declaration of love uh, from from the rap line, you know, to the to the genre, which is cool. I like it, and you know, it's a nice break uh, when the chorus ca comes in and you have like the the more melodic, uh, you know, parts. Na, 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 na. So yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah. Let me do. Uh, let me know, and I'll I'll stop after that one though. Uh, because, as, as I said, you know, uh, <laughs> copyright issues and stuff, so I, I need to cut the video in, in multiple parts. Anyway, let me know.
beautiful, you know, uh, low register voice. You know, you guys know I love it. <laughs> I love the low register and the high freaking register. You know, the complete opposite, but I love them both. And and like I said in the beginning with with um, the intro, I said like, I felt, I felt like it was a good way to be like, okay, this, this album is gonna be like, you know, uh, like about love, but like maybe not the, the you know, the, the, the right, I mean, not the right, the, you know, happy kind of love. And it's, I mean, with the song and the lyrics, you know, that I just read, it's continuing in the, on that, you know, you know, path. Because again, it's a story about like, uh, a love that is not there anymore. They, they, they cannot be together and they don't love each other uh, anymore. So it is kind of a sad, you know, I mean, it's life. I mean, like all the love cannot be eternal, sadly, but you know, some stories are just meant to be for a certain period of time and that's okay. But it, none, nonetheless, you know, you, it's, it's sad <laughs> and it's heartbreaking and everything. So, so yeah, this song is about that. Like, you know, and I love that, like, like I said, the, the freaking high note in the end, but also like the way it starts with like V, like the, the low register voice, I, I love it. And there's some like guitars, like electric guitars in it, I love as well. Like there's so many things. I'm, I'm seeing in the credits that it's produced by Sugar and P Dog and written by Sugar, P Dog, and RM and J Hope. So, alright. I'm not gonna like listen to like the whole song again, but like. There's some parts. I like the in the background you can hear like you know the voices like being that, that's I like it. Well not anymore. You got my point. 
guitars in the song like the like and that's kind of give this song like a like a like an eerie kind type of like feeling and I like that I love also like the uh, acoustic guitars a lot. I, that's a nice touch and I really like that. So much like so far like for start of the of this EP album I don't really even know if it's an EP or an album <laughs> uh, I love it already I think it's an album <laughs> but um, yeah that's like I really like this one let me know uh, I really liked it uh, and obviously like I said I will be uh, doing other parts uh, later and, and, and yeah Anyway guys, that was today's video. I hope you enjoyed and thank you so much for listening and watching with me and I hope to see you in the next video. See ya!